Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv and welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today, two things. I have a set of older figures, uh, 35th scale, to review that figures. And I've been grinding some uh, resin parts, been kind of grinding the... Um, it's a turret. I've been, you know, ah, been doing some work on it. And so there's little things flying around in the air and they're getting in my you know, schnoz. You can see them flying around. It's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, so if I sneeze, it's because of that. Today, we are going to look at these uh, generals. In general, I think this is a pretty decent little kit. Ha, ha, I've built it before, and I wanted it again. I went to my local hobby shop because I had seen it there not too long ago, and I guess it was an old stock item. They didn't have it anymore. So I wound up getting the one set from Mini Art that has General Patton and Willie and a few other generals. I like De Gaulle, which was kind of really neat. Um, and it's got Zukov and it's got uh, some Japanese general, which, you know, again, really cool. Some ones that I didn't have before. Anyway, this has got Patton in this particular stance right here. So we're gonna open this up and take a look at it real quick. This one is interesting because it's factory sealed, but it's got something factory sealed in it. So, uh, like I say, I've built this before, but I wanted to have these guys again because it was years and years and years ago. I did a you know crappy job, all that kind of stuff, and lost them. Uh, and besides, you got to have somebody to command your army, right? So this says, this piece of paper. Techniques, modern, du, malice, uh, Tamiya. Looks like it's in French. Interesting. That was behind the shrink wrap. Hmm. I'd never seen that before. So here's the back of the box. Uh, kind of the painting call outs in, in well, in Japanese, unfortunately. Um, but kind of the assembly of the figures. Uh... Guess I need to get all of the wrapping off before I start here. Uh, nice thing about this box, it's got some fun little um, ideas for some of the uh, ribbons or whatever you want to call them that they have. Not that you're going to put any of this stuff on because it's going to be too tiny, but hey. Um, so that's pretty much your instructions right there. And here is your one sprue right here. Factory sealed for my freshness. And it's stapled. It's stapled. Mmm. So it's adult proof. How nice. There we go. Okay, so it looks like here we have MacArthur. Very interesting story about General MacArthur and Patton in World War I, <laughs> uh, where they met. Really cool story. If you don't know the connection, I'm going to let you search that out. But Mac MacArthur and Patton had a great um, meeting in World War I. And then you've got uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower. This is always a good one which at one point in time, he was a subordinate of Patton. And very interesting how all of that came about. So you've got Rommel, got to have the desert fox. Uh, so he's got arms, he's got uh, binoculars, he's got his um, goggles, his hat and his frock, the back of his frock coat. 
Uh, here, you got Patton with his two revolvers. That's really cool. Uh, his riding crop and a regular helmet. That's what he was wearing most of the time. Uh, MacArthur, his arms with a pipe. You got the pipe right there. Looks like you've got options. No, just 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 that. Just his hands holding the pipe. Uh, you got Monty with his beret and his arms and a cup of tea. Not coffee, a cup of tea. Get it right, okay. Um, and General Eisenhower, his hat and his arms. So pretty simple. Um, you know, painting, of course, with these guys, there's a lot of painting involved to get them right. And uh, there are companies out there that make some of these little insignias and ribbons and things like that, which would be fun to put on here. I think it really uh, adds some great detail and a great figure, figure painter, a faint, a figure painter, hmm, a figure painter could do a great job with these. Uh, I am not that person. <laughs> so when I build them, they're not going to be great, but hey, they'll be generals huh? in general. So hopefully you'll be able to recognize them. That was quick and easy today and pretty painless. How about that? Um, when I get them built, we will compare them with the uh, mini art ones that I built a few, well, about two, three years ago now. So anyway, I got this one for, well, I don't want to tell you, it's like five bucks <clears throat> and then like three and a half bucks shipping. And I got it off of Facebook Marketplace, not eBay for once. Uh, eBay has some great stuff and I get a lot of things there, but this Facebook Marketplace is getting more and more, uh, more and more people are shipping. So uh, you get stuff from all over the country and this thing showed up in like three days, eight and a half bucks. Yay for me. So, all right, folks, see you again soon.